Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In the last episode, we began the applique of our roses. If I was going to be continuing on to the letter of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks, I would be using these two skeins of embroidery thread to embroider in all of the details and highlights of our roses. We've got the pale pink and this magenta fuchsia colour. But I'm not going to be embroidering these in, I'm going to be appliquing the details of the roses today. I've carefully matched the fabric to the colour of the embroidery thread. We've got the pale pink for our roses and also this fuchsia colour. On the back of our rose template sheet we've got all of the highlights and details that will need to be embroidered in but I have outlined each of these and worked out which are the light pink and which are the magenta fabrics so that I can trace around them and make a template to applique. All of this took a very long time so I did it in my spare time. I've got all the pink areas which are going to be applique. I've got all of the magenta areas which are going to be applique and I've also found some green scrap fabric for my fabric box which we used on the central panel applique for the highlights in the leaves which I've also traced onto the bonder web. Now that we've got all of our custom pieces for our applique traced onto the bonder web I'm going to be cutting them out now. I'm going to begin cutting out all of the green template pieces for our leaves and don't forget there's double of the pieces as we have two roses. Lots of cutting to do. All of the pieces have now been cut out and we're ready to press them down and then very carefully cut them out again. As I cut them all out I'm going to be placing all of the pieces onto my pattern so I know where they belong. It's time to cut them all out. So all of our rose detail pieces in the green, the magenta and the light pink have been painstakingly cut out and that was quite painful. Um, I've placed them onto the template so I know where they, they belong. I'm going to remove the backing of the bonder web and carefully place them starting with the bottom rows first.
So I've appliqued the bottom rose on our central panel applique. It took a very long time, but it's looking great. I'm going to be doing the same thing at the top and I'll show you what I've done. And I'm finally finished appliqueing both of the roses. I've given them their final press, but before I show you, I just wanted to let you know if you are going to be appliqueing the rose details on, this diagram here is a lifesaver. Make sure that you number all of your pieces as well, because that really helped me as well. Time to show you what I've done. And here we have the final roses. We've got the rose up the top and the rose down the bottom. And I am very happy with it. All I need to do now is to stitch all around the areas using the sewing machine. But I won't be doing that today. This took a very, very long time to do, but I'm sure it's way quicker than embroidering. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had success making your roses, whether you're embroidering them or appliquing them on. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we complete this center panel and then begin on the sides. Until next time, bye.